Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am challenging myself to create with as many colors as possible from the brand new Concord and Ninth Color Collection. This collection is absolutely beautiful and I hope that these projects really show you how well all of the colors work together. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make some rainbows. I'm going to show you some stamping and some cardstock here all together. And then we're going to make a few cards at the end of this using the pieces that I've created. So I'm starting out with this Concord and Ninth stripe background stamp, and I'm actually just taking one of the stripes, I'm cutting between the areas where the stamp actually stamps, and I am just cutting this down so I can use one of these stripes. And I know that there are some of you out there who saw me do that and it physically hurt you. <laughs> but don't worry, I can always mount them all back together and use it as it was originally intended. So I'm starting out with this stamp in my Misty Stamping Tool, and I'm gonna work through the rainbow here. I'm starting with Ballet Slipper, and I'm just stamping that onto my Concord and Ninth white cardstock. And then I'm going to play around with how much I need to move this. So I'm just kind of closing it and looking through the lid of my Misty. And what I came up with was about one and a little bit more of the little grid line, so just over a quarter of an inch. Now I will tell you that as I continued stamping, I realized that the part that stamps over onto the scrap piece, piece of paper or the grid paper that's behind my cardstock in the Misty, you can actually line up your stamping with that kind of overlap there and see where you need to stamp your next color if that makes sense. So once you get that kind of stamped onto that grid paper in the background, you can see where your next stripe is going to stamp. And I am creating this pattern so that they're all connected. You could absolutely space these out and leave some white between them, but I wanted as much color as I could possibly get. So I started with Ballet Slipper and then I moved to Honeysuckle and then Poppy. And now I'm going to Grapefruit and it's much lighter than Poppy. So I went ahead and cleaned my stamp with a baby wipe and then I just wiped it off with my hand there because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> and then I stamped that Grapefruit. And I'm just gonna keep working my way through the rainbow here. And I will have all of the colors that I used linked in the YouTube description below. So be sure to check there. And this is what my paper looks like when I've completely stamped the entire thing. It's nice and smooth. I love the look of stamping because it gives you a little variation. It's not perfect. And I really like that. It's almost like the imperfection of the stamping gives or adds a little bit of texture to the overall look of this piece of background paper. So now I'm gonna create the same exact stripe pattern, but this time, I'm gonna be using the Concord and Ninth cardstocks that coordinate with the Concord and Ninth inks that I just used to stamp my background. So I'm placing these scraps of cardstock into my trimmer and I'm trimming them down to about a quarter of an inch. And then I'm gonna take some Stick It adhesive and apply it to a scrap piece of printer paper. Now this is not cardstock because I find it's easier if you assemble this on some like printer or lightweight paper so that if you wanna die cut it later, you're not going through a couple of layers of cardstock, you'll get a cleaner die cut later on. So I'm just removing the backer from this sheet of Stick It adhesive and applying it to this scrap of paper. And then I'm gonna press it down to make sure that it has a really good grip on this paper. And I'm gonna use the side of my bone folder to make sure all of that adhesive has transferred to that scrap piece of paper. And then I can take the other backer that's on this Stick It adhesive and peel it back, and I can start building my striped pattern. Now, once again, I'm going at an angle, but you could definitely do this um, more straight, or it's still linear, but you know what I mean, parallel, perpendicular. <laughs> my husband's the math man. I am not a math woman, and that is geometry, um, but anyway. You get the point. You can make these at an angle, you can make them straight, whatever you want. I'm gonna go with an angle because I find it a little bit easier. So I've laid down my first strip, which is the ballet slipper there, and then I've moved to the honeysuckle. I'm kind of working my rainbow in both directions here, but I'm keeping 
the same pattern as I go. And I'm allowing the strips to hang off of this piece of sticky paper that I've created, but I'm leaving all of the long ends on one side because I'm gonna go through and trim those off later. And those long pieces can be used to create another piece like this. So I cut about three strips of each color and I was able to cover this entire piece and I had strips left over. So you don't need a ton of cardstock and this is a great technique for scraps if you have them. And you can see once I have this all covered, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and this is so satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna just trim those strips right off. I'm laying my blade of my scissors right along the edge of this scrap piece of paper that I've covered. And then all of those strips there can then be used again on another scrap piece of paper to create another rainbow background. So now I have all of these pieces of rainbow striped, basically a pattern paper that I've created on my own. And I can stamp on them, I can die cut them, I can trim them down into small pieces, which is my favorite way to use them. And I can just use them as little accents on my card. So these two here were stamped. I love this little edge you get on the stamping when all of those, um, like the end of the stripe kind of lines up. And you can see there is some imperfection in my stamping, but I really like that because it adds texture. And then this other one here on my left is the cardstock covered piece. So both of them are great for creating. And I use these in small amounts just in like little strips and stuff. So you're gonna see that all of this time spent creating these papers is really going to go a long way because I'm gonna get a lot of cards out of it. So now let's make some cards. I've trimmed some small strips down and some various size papers. Like I said, you could also die cut like a sentiment out of this or even use these hexagon labels that I'm going to use in just a little bit to kind of die cut a really cool hexagon. But for now, I am using the Hey Bestie stamp set, and I am stamping using the back side of this hexagon first, and then I flipped it over to where the sentiment would show, where that miss you would show, and I stamped that onto my white cardstock as well. And this is the Concord and Ninth white cardstock. So by stamping with the back side of this hexagon, I have a solid hexagon rather than one with that miss you sentiment. So once I have those all stamped, I used Peacock, Stardust, and Grapefruit for these hexagons. I'm gonna die cut them using the coordinating dies. And then I just kind of arrange them onto my card front with a strip of that rainbow kind of pattern paper that I created. I added a second little strip here. And it's kind of hard to see right here, but it is popped up in the center. There's a smaller kind of three by four piece of white cardstock there in the center that those hexagons are arranged on. I finished it off with some sparkling clear sequins and a little gold heart and super simple, this card is done. So for my second card, I'm gonna use a lot of the same colors and the same kind of general idea, but my card base, I'm going to stamp a pattern on it using the positive print turnabout stamp set from Concord and Ninth and I just stamped that onto my card base using some black ink. You can see that instead of the miss you sentiment on that hexagon, I die cut the little high, which is from the hexagon labels die set that coordinates with the Hey Bestie stamp set that I'm using here. And on this grapefruit colored hexagon, I stamped one of the sentiments from the Hey Bestie stamp set that says, you are one of my favorites. And if you know, you know. <laughs> I say that at the end of a lot of my videos, if you stick around to the very end. So that's my second card. And for my third card, I'm gonna keep it really simple also. I'm using a little bit larger chunk of this stamped striped rainbow paper that I created. And this sentiment from the Hey Bestie stamp set that says ever so grateful. And I'm just lining that up on my card base here. This is a white cardstock top folding A2 size card base. And I'm gonna stamp this ever so grateful sentiment onto my card base using some black ink. And I've stamped it once, and then I'm going to place this rainbow stripe paper into the corner where I'm going to adhere it onto my card front. I'm going to re-ink the stamp again, and then stamp this onto that pattern paper that I created. And that's going to allow the sentiment to flow smoothly 
from the card base to this little area on the card front where I'm adding this so-called pattern paper. So I'm just adhering that on using a little tape runner adhesive. And then I'm gonna take this little heart stamp from the Hey Bestie stamp set, and I'm gonna stamp it using the Honeysuckle ink right over that stamped greeting there. And I finished that off with just a little bit of gold sparkle twine and some sparkling clear sequins. So there you have it, a couple of easy ways to make your own rainbow stripe pattern paper. I absolutely love the way these Concord and Ninth colors just, they just work together. And so I'm left with these really beautiful pieces of rainbow striped kind of pattern paper that I can use in various ways on several card projects. And I have a lot of this paper left over just from those few little bits that I created. So there will be more rainbow cards in my future. <laughs> I really hope this inspired you to create your own rainbow stripe pattern paper, whether it's with stamping or with cardstock, because it really is a fun and easy way to use all your inks and your cardstock scraps in your collection. As always, I will have links to the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube, but head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.